I'm Ant. I'm Hannah. And this is Art in the Corridor. We are Ant, Hannah and Mabel the Pup. We live and work from our 50 foot narrowboat, The Corridor. Come and join us as we attempt to navigate the English canals and the world as full-time artists. Here we go. Morning, welcome back. This is episode thirty, I think. 30. Can you believe it? No, we're only gonna do five. I know. <laughs> um so this week I'm going to try a line eye. Aren't I? Yep. So even though I've seen Anthony do it a million times and obviously he tells us all how to do it, I st it still doesn't compute in my brain. So you're gonna have to help me along the way here. Yeah, this should be fun because we can go through it step by step. Yeah, step by step. So for what's first, I've got, I need a bit of lino. Well, yeah, I've only got this big sheet at the moment, so we're going to cut that down. Okay. Because I don't want you um, hacking away at that great big sheet, because <laughs> I need some of that. <laughs> and then I've got to come up with an idea. Yeah, then you've got to come up with your sketch. I've got something in my brain, I think. Whether it'll work for a lino, I don't know. Okay, so I mean, this, I... this video is going to be Beginner's Guide to Lino Cutting 101, The Workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So before we get into um, the lesson, teaching Hannah how to make a lino print, this was the print that I'd started on the end of the last video, and we're going to be using this one for a reference point to try and uh, give us some tips, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is, because I haven't actually made a print this week. No. I've, um, it's been one of those weeks, I've run out of everything, I've had to reorder ink, paper, um, tubes, if you're waiting for a print, I'm so sorry, the tubes are on the way. Um, yeah, so I've been at a bit of a loss this week. So, And we had to get some welding done on the boat, so that threw us a bit. Only took a day, but <laughs> it just threw our week. Yeah. But we're glad that's done, aren't we? Yeah, it's all done. And now it's all lovely out, so that's good. Right, so if we're going to do it step by step, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of advice quick. Okay. So what I usually do is I draw around my piece of lino, just on a piece of paper, nice and easy. So that's where your image is going to go. I used to draw straight onto the lino. Yeah. But what you have to remember then is, anything you draw on there, if there's any writing or anything like that, it has to be reversed. That makes it a bit difficult. I'm not doing writing. Okay. And the other thing is, if you rub out on this it makes a you sort of wreck the surface a little bit so we'll do it on this yeah once you're happy with your sketch we'll trace it and we'll transfer it okay so your next step is to come up with a sketch okie dokie another quick tip if this is going to be your first go don't try and do something really detailed and intricate okay try and keep it almost a little bit bolder than usual like the characters and stuff Okay. Also, it's got, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because he's, we'll go into it, but yeah, try and. 
say you're... brother, I do teeny weeny. <laughs> well, you do teeny weeny little characters and stuff, but try and keep it a bit bolder, so okay. not so intricate. Bigger, bolder, braver. Okay. done a sketch. Okay. I've absolutely no idea because I'm not thinking about where I need to cut when I'm sketching, which is probably what you do, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Well, let's I have a look and see how And you said keep it simple. I'm not sure I've kept it simple. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad to be honest. I mean, it might be quite intricate the cutting, but um we'll see how we get on with it. The next stage is going to be you're going to have to come up to the worktop and you're going to have to now trace that. Can I can I not trace it here? If you want to, yeah, we'll have to book, tape it to this the board. This is where I work. Okay, I'll tape it to the board. <laughs> we'll come back to this. <laughs> yeah, and we're just gonna cut that out. I'm not sure I'm gonna have the patience for this. <laughs> Will I be able to do this in the day? Because if not I'll be I won't like it. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll find out soon. <laughs> I don't like. Well, I don't like the fact you have to wait around for a week to see how it's going to look. Well, you don't technically have to wait a week for a black and white. You should be able to do this. For a black and white, yeah. You should do this in a few hours. Okay. <laughs> I've got a feeling at some point you're going to start telling me I'm being bossy or. <laughs> <laughs> What we're going to do now, so you've got to use a different pencil now. Yeah. So this is like a HB type pencil, more of a graphite pencil. Okay. The reason we're going to use that is because we're going to flip that onto your liner once it's traced and that pencil will transfer Not... easier. Okay. Okay? Yep. So your next step is to, is to get it. tracing. Right, <laughs> so you've taped that onto there. I've taped it up. So what we're going to do, if you take that driving license yeah. <laughs> and just use the edge of it, that's it, and just... So you've got it's a bit, a bit wobbly. Yeah, that'll be all right. So just keep rubbing over it's it. It's very wobbly. Yeah, you've done that a bit wobbly. Right, wait there. You finished it so off. So just flatten it out with your hand a bit. You can just flatten it with, flatten as it you go. So you wanna, this is going to be all over the place. You want to just really be going like this. Oh, right. All over, give it a real good... Just said go like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a natural teacher, am I? It's because I sort of know how I'd be doing it and then watching somebody else do it. No, awkward. it's because I'm your wife. <laughs> so you want to keep doing that and then maybe you can go over with the spoon a bit as well. How do I know that this is working? Um, we'll lift the corner in a moment and we'll check. You've just got to really make sure you go over everything. And if you do, do the spoon, that Applies a lot more pressure. Right, sort of keep it flat on your hand right, like that. Flat with your hand. No, no, go like this with your hand. <laughs> Open your hand up on it. No, you can. One hand at a time. What? Between your thumb and finger, just so you flatten that area. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So we'll keep doing that for a minute, and then we'll um, we'll take a look and see if it's transferring. We could have a look in this corner. Look. See, see. Oh, that's terrible. We'll just keep going. <laughs> Who would have thought? Um, just rubbing a bit of tracing paper would be so complicated. Well, there you go, you see. You always sit on the sofa and say to me, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> you do. What are you doing up there messing about? Well, to be fair, I am already at, like, I'm starting to, uh Regret it. Bore. <laughs> <laughs> Getting bored? Well, the fun bit starts in a minute. You're going to be cutting soon. Oh, I just want to... <laughs> right, 
Right, next step, you're going to teach me how and what to cut. Oh, hopefully, yeah. Right, so the whole idea with this is it, it's like a balance. Obviously, you need to decide what's going to be white and what's going to be black. Now, the idea really is whatever you cut is going to remain white. So you're yes. sort of working backwards. Yes. So you think if you're drawing with a pen, whatever you draw is your outline, but you're sort of taking the white out of it. So I'm going to have to cut all of that? No, I don't think so. I think because if we start with the face, we're going to cut her face away, but leave the black lines. Right. So if we look at this one for an example that I cut the other day. Yeah. See, I've, I've cut her face and I've left those tiny little lines. Yeah. But then when it's printed, so it's created this little face. Yeah. Okay, so I think if we use that as your starting point. Yes. I think we'll probably do a white outline all the way around these characters. Okay, so cut so that'll, around. That'll that. lift them out of the picture. Yes, yeah, so we'll cut around all of this. Then we'll very carefully start with the face. Okay. So we'll cut all of this away, just, just leaving the lines, black. The, yeah. And we'll do the same with the arm. That can come out white. The leg, the little foot. And then we'll make a decision on the dog. And with this, this dress, yeah. that could be a black dress because we're going to do a white line down here. Yeah. So if you look at this here, so we could do these sort, this sort of effect with lines that will create a dress feel. Yeah, so it's got movement in it. And it'll have some movement in it and that'll stand out really lovely against this. Okay. Okay, but the next thing's going to be teaching you how to use these properly. Because there's a real, uh, this sounds silly, but it's quite serious, okay? <laughs> <laughs> right? No, I'm deadly serious, right? Because it's so easy. Like, if you've got your hand like this, t to keep this still. Oh, I know what you're going to say. The first thing I said this morning when I said, I'm going to try and do a print, the first thing you said was, well, you're going to have to watch your fingers. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's really serious. It's so easy to just shoot these towards your hand. And okay. these are very, very sharp. They're, honestly, they're like razors. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just a little bit worried about you because you sometimes you're a little bit um, what's the word? Accident prone. That that what? I don't think I've ever had an accident. <laughs> okay, let's go. We've started the cutting. How are you getting on? Well, it was a disaster at the beginning because you didn't quite tell me how to use the tools. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so any. Mistakes at this point are down to me. <laughs> I'm one of those people who likes to know how to do it straight away. And if I don't quite click with it straight away, I'll move on to something else. Okay. But I'm sticking with it. Okay, so maybe you can tell everyone, what have you learnt about the tools so far? Can you uh, show us on this little edge? That you have to go... Yeah. Don't keep, keep the angle down, so you go... Along, yeah, otherwise, you're just gouging the yeah. chunks, out. and also they're very temperamental. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And I've definitely done bitten off more than I could chew. Like, I should have done something really simple, like just done an big, owl's face or something. A big and bold, well, big and bold, yeah. There's no disasters yet. Down there. <laughs> Having a rest. Concentration is flagging already. I've not even started. Right, so what do you want to next? The dress. But I want to have like the material so it looks like the material. So can I just draw on what I want to cut? Yeah, so if we use this one as an example, so we're gonna have the dress black because you've cut out the white for our arms. Yeah. So if I just grab the pencil quick. So if you see here, you see like the, the shapes. Yeah. So she sort of laid on her side. So I think you'd have, where her leg would be, there'd obviously be curves in the dress. So if we do like some curves like this, but they get smaller as they go up. Mm. See? Yeah. So they'll just, they'll just be white. And then we could just have some curves. So if we just cut those out. Okay. With the small one. I think we use the big V gouge for that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wherever that is, this okay. one. So it's a V, but it's just a bit bigger and it'll, it'll give you the shapes. We're cutting now your dog.
dog. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Do you remember we done that video a few weeks back where you said all you do is talk, you're all saying, oh, should I do this, should I do this? Do you remember that video? Yes. <laughs> I'm not talking those. I'm just... Well, there's a lot of puffing going on and... Oh, that's just... I'm bored now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want it to be done. I don't think it's for me. <laughs> well, do you think we should give everyone a rest see, and then... I can um, see why you like it. Should we give everyone a rest and come back when you've got a bit further? Yeah. Okay. Right, we're going to do a quick lesson in the roll in the ink okay. for you, okay? So you just want to roll it. No, yeah, you do want to just roll it, but once you've got it, the width of your roller, you have to keep pulling the same way. So lift it, roll it then cross it, okay? Right. Because it, the way it tacks, it it gives you a really nice even coverage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to be doing that. Right, now you ready for the fun bit? Right, bring it over to your right, your lino. Yep, bring it over to your lino. I just like that sound. <laughs> <laughs> right. And try and go in the same direction. Sit and lift. Do not. Oh, that looks rubbish. Right, keep it. It's going on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're making a right, right mess. Hang on. No, no, you don't want any more what? of that ink. You oh, have God. way too much. <laughs> you have way too much. What right, am I doing? Just, just go over it again. No, no, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, just go, just go over this again. <laughs> but when you get to your corner, so, so you don't go all over the work surface. Just if you turn it that way, look, you can get the corner without going onto the surface. You said go the same way. Yeah, well, you can go like this to begin with. Okay. And then finish like this. I don't think I've cut much, have I? I've hardly cut anything. Look, they don't even look like leaves. They just like look like, like lines. <laughs> That's terrible. Right, well I'm going to print one but I've got to cut out the leaves. A bit more There's on the no leaves. leaves. Okay. <laughs> right, so I go like that. Yeah, and just let it drop onto the paper. Press. Yeah, press. All over. Like loads, this. Yeah, loads and loads of pressure. <laughs> Oh, oh, do that thing where you try and what? keep it flat with your hand. Flat with your hand. you'll get ripples in it and it'll misprint. How, how come I'm not using the registration board and I'm not doing a Because it's thing just black and white. Just stop it from moving. Mm, no. Finished doing your pressing? Yes, I can already see what I've done wrong. Not necessarily wrong, but I've just realised how much you really have to think about the image because like it's she it looks small on the page right okay you like usually when i do paintings i'll have like lots of different bits and things going on in the background but for the first print that wasn't going to happen no <laughs> but so you were right when you said make it big and bold like fill the fill page. the space yeah but my main characters haven't filled the page okay so you ready for your big reveal yes okay ready yep dun 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 dun, dun. <laughs> That's really nice. Lay it on here so we can see. But the leaves.
leaves don't look like leaves. So they should have been bigger. They should have taken up like that much space, shouldn't they? Yeah. And then the leaves round. Yeah, but for your first ever try at lino printing. And you see, you can see when you put the ink on where I needed to cut, so I could always do well, Yeah, it, you can do more. Do more. Well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? It's a lot more physical, isn't it? Like, it hurts. Well, yeah, there's a lot to... But there you go. Oh, I think it's really nice. Well Thanks done. for the lesson. <laughs> I don't know if I particularly enjoyed it. I don't know if I did either. <laughs> Should we just stick to what we do? Yeah, good yeah. idea. Okay. Well, cover. Yes, please. We've had an idea. <laughs> See what it looks like on the card. Yeah, this should be good. We had some brown cards in the magic box. <laughs> Don't know how well it's gonna. I'd imagine it'd be pretty difficult because it's heavy card. Oh. oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you got to try, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> What do you reckon? I don't reckon it's going to. No, the card's so thick it probably doesn't take well to it. But I do remember doing some of your very, very early ones onto a card. Yeah, we did. We've done it the wrong way around. Oh, no. oh it, it kind of worked, but we did it on the wrong side. <laughs> it sort of worked. Yeah. Yeah. Just, mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Right, it's dinner time. Okay. Oh, but I kind of don't want to let it go. <laughs> well, let's clear up. Time for dinner. much of a walk today. Okay, I think that's it for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed the lesson. We uh, got through it without falling out. Yeah, it was good fun actually, wasn't it? Not a brilliant student, am I? <laughs> you don't... I don't want to say you don't like being told what to do. <laughs> but you don't like... But, <laughs> but you don't told. like being told what to do. <laughs> Not that I tell you what to do, no. but you know. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, we just want to say a big thank you to everybody that bought us a coffee. So last week, if you watched last week's video, um, we mentioned that we'd set up a little buy me a coffee which is basically just a place where you can donate a little bit towards the channel it helps us keep making the videos we're still going to keep making the videos yeah. but we're massively appreciative um, of those donations so thank you so much and here are the names mm -hmm. thank you thank you thank, thank you thank you so much and what we thought would be fun as part of this buy me a coffee is everybody that buys us a coffee will take your name put it into a hat and do a monthly draw so every month we'll pull out a name and you'll receive a print yeah. or a card or a painting yeah. just like a little thank you back to us yeah well, I could do like if I'm doing a print or something I could make sure I keep an extra on the side yeah <laughs> and we could just do stuff like that yeah. yeah yeah so that's it really so don't forget to like and subscribe push the notification bell and we'll see you next week yeah, yeah. 
Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.